So, ladies, how many is too many? This is how high the, the shoes are. One, two, three, four, five, seven pairs to choose from. So, I'll get started in a second. So, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, means the world to me. See those numbers going up and it helps with the um, algorithms and all of that jazz. So um, I mentioned in a video the other day, I've lost track, um, that I had a few shoes that I bought from Next Clearance and I was struggling to decide what to keep because they were all such huge bargains. And uh, my daughter Katie had looked at them with me and she... Um, she was no help at all. In fact, she just said, well, they're really lovely mum, so I don't know, I can't help you choose. So I just thought I'd show you, and um, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll show you the shoes off, and then I'm going to try and show you the shoes on, but it's kind of a bit difficult, isn't it? Because, um, I don't know, I'll try and think of something anyway. So let me show you, oh, these, these are probably, these are definite keepers, and these are, um, they're a brand called Naturalizer. And um, these are £50 pounds, uh, reduced, but they are currently still on sale for £110 pounds on the Naturalizer website. They're leather. Aren't they elegant and beautiful? Um, and when I show you my gold dress, <laughs> um, you'll see that they just go so beautifully. And... Um, Although I've got a wide foot, the way these are cut, they're fine on me. So that's pair number one. £50 from 110 I mean, I know really, like, it doesn't matter so much whether they're a bargain. But if they're a bargain and they're comfortable, then it does matter. So I think they're a definite keeper because I know that I will wear those on, on the cruise and for any do's that I happen to be going to. Then these ones I think you've seen already. These are the Modra and Pele most comfortable, comfortable sandals. And they were 32. And all the Modra and Pele shoes are about £100 to buy. So they are super, super comfortable. And I think nice. Yeah. Kind of almost a neutral. So that's number two. Then number three. It's another Moda and Pele, and these were 38, again, from, you know, I think I think on QVC they had these, and they were about, I, I think they were about 80 pounds, what they, 38, and these are, I think they call them a rose gold, it's quite hard to tell, but they're really comfortable and very flattering on the foot, and kind of almost just a neutral you see, I love this, you know, I've got a really high instep, so that um, it's very flattering on the foot, and they're a nice block heel, so that's number three, run out of room, hang on, I mean, I'll have to get rid of some shoes to accommodate these, then this is the last pair of Modra and Pele, and I think these were about 30-something. I can't find them. But they're another animal skin. I think that's a snake, isn't it? Is it a snake? And look at this lovely little charm on here. And they're so comfortable as well. And they kind of they cover your feet without still, but they're still open. Do you know what I mean? Like ones that have just got what? I mean, my feet are far from attractive enough to just have one strap across and they're they're really super comfortable and not too high but so pretty and I know people say about the band around your ankle but I think if they are almost neutral I'm not I'm not worried about that I'm not worried about it anyway to be honest because I quite like it and then um, these are much more kind of just um, straightforward so these are, oh, how much are these? These are 
£16.50. Aren't they lovely? So comfortable. I think these are heavenly feet, they call them. So they're really cushioned. They're not leather, but I mean, honestly, cheap as chips. Really nice. This is ludicrous. I don't think I'll have to buy another pair of summer shoes for the rest of my life. Then these are, these are £15. These are leather, and these are kind of probably what I'd call kind of uh, daytime beach or pool or just, you know, local, like just summer, summer sandals really. But they're really comfortable as well because they're woven. They're really, so they go nice by nail varnish, don't they? Yep, so there's those. And then there's these. That's as well as the Clark's ones I had on the other day. Um, these are £19.50. And these are kind of a bronze. And they were £46. And they've got that whole footbed thing going on. They're lovely, aren't they? So, yeah. What would you do? I just, I just don't know. Like I say, when I told Rob, he, he was just like, well, they're all really good buys. So what's your, why don't you just keep them? Well, where's my husband gone? But um, they are really good buys. Really, really, really good buys. So I will, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll try and set the camera up maybe on the floor. And show you show you like that maybe that's the best way to do it um because obviously when i sort of do the whole cruise thing um i'll, sh I'll show you the show the shows the shoes and the accessories with that stuff um oh a couple of people asked me about my lipstick um I um I usually put a lip pencil on when I do my makeup, go around the edge and then I fill it in. And then this one is a what brand is that? Revlon. And this is called Toasting Toasting Glasses. What are those weird, weird names? Zero zero nine, and really, I just kind of put it on for a little bit of gloss, mm, darling. Um, yeah, that's that's really popular. A lot of people have commented on that one, and then the other one that's really popular is this one that I wear quite often. You can see that's a Mac, and that one is Chatterbox. I'm not sure if they still do it, but. When you see me at the moment, these are the two that I'm kind of got handy. So, um, yeah, that goes nice with my nail varnish, doesn't it? Anywho, uh, I will try those on and, um, yeah, you can give me your opinion. So I'll see how I can set the camera up and, um, and go from there sort of fly by the seat of my pants as usual so <laughs> I don't know quite how this is going to work but um I'm sitting on this little stool and I just thought I'd show you show you the shoes you see those they're so pretty aren't they and they're really comfortable they're not too high and the kind of put whoops as I fall over that'd be good on camera and the point kind of my toes obviously only kind of come to there so um I just think they look really lovely so they're kind of like a pearlized gold so they're not kind of glitzy gold I, I ordered so many gold pairs and these were by far and away the best so yeah I'm happy with those my feet could do with a bit of attention but um That's number one. 
Now these, I mean, these are a no-brainer, aren't they? They're just, um, they're just really comfortable, quite nice looking. Well, very nice looking, actually. I like the gold. I like the animal print. There's a bit of a thing going on here, isn't there? So, yep. I mean, nothing to like or dislike, is there, really? They're just a, a good kind of version of these. And the, the, um, the inner sole is uh, leather, too. So, you know, they won't, they won't get all sweaty and slidey. So comfortable. Because I've got a tiny little toe. I mean, honestly, if I've got a problem with my feet, you know, every one of them, I've got a tiny little toes, so if this strap isn't um, deep enough, they, they pop out. So, yeah. Was that number two? I can't, oh dear, I should have put numbers on them. But anyway, we'll call them the um, gold, the gold button. This is the second pair of Modrum Pele. And they're, as I say, I think they call them rose gold. So, so they're honestly so comfortable. And see how high my instep is? That that pushes that wider part there, but supports my foot really well. This is the strangest video I think I've ever done. But you can see what I mean about, you know, not wanting to um, return them. These have got a tiny little mark on there, but I'm not really worried about that. I don't think anyone else would see it. So my two, my two toes there are kind of extending slightly. But, you know, not to any great extent. I mean, I don't think, again, nobody else is going to be studying my feet like this, are they? Only you, you of course, on the camera. But, yeah, so that's uh, one, two, three. That's the third pair, isn't it? So this is the third pair of Modrin Pele shoes. And you can see... They fit really nicely, and this little charm on here is so sweet. So, again, you know, they're not like a going-to-the-shop shoe, but they are a very nice um, dressy shoe. So, To be fair, I expect these are the least comfortable out of the four that I've tried on so far. But, you know, they're comfortable enough that I could sort of tolerate them, I get Not tolerate them, you know, I wouldn't wear them to like a dancing situation, but I would happily wear them to a standing around kind of sit down dinner party situation. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Now, these are honestly so comfortable. They're like slippers. They're pretty, aren't they? I think, anyway. You know, got this nice um, detail with the weaving and that kind of metal ring there. I think they're probably plastic. But... Um, They're literally like putting slippers on. So, what are these? 19 pounds or 20 pounds or something? So, they're definitely keepers. I would have liked to have tried these on with a summer dress, but my legs need waxing, so I couldn't have them close up to you. So, nice? I think so. And then there's these that are just kind of everyday summer 
beach holiday. I mean, I reckon that I wear these probably all the time in the summer. And um, they're, they're just super comfortable because the, the um, woven leather just accommodates your feet. But, you know, it's not kind of, there's no straps to bother you or anything like that. So they are dead flat, so I probably need to be aware of not to do a lot of walking in them because of, uh, you know, the support for my instep. But they're really easy. They're probably be my go-to beach shoes because they're easy to slide on and off. So what's left? Just one more pair. And then last but not least... These, now these are really, really comfortable and very kind of sensible. You know, these are probably what I'd wear for sightseeing because um, they're cool. You know, they've got a really good sole. They've got the support here for my instep. I've got a really high instep and um, they were 46. I can't remember. What did I say they were? Anyway, I told you in the first video, in the first part of the video. So, yeah. So that's all of those sandals and shoes to choose from. Decisions, decisions. I think these are these are obvious ones to keep because there's nothing. The leather is so soft, really super soft, and uh, they just do up with Velcro, so they're easy peasy. Nice. So quite, quite a quick video today because I just wanted to keep this one completely separate. Um, and for you guys to see my bargainous uh, next collection of shoes. And you know what? I'm probably, probably, I think I might send these back because after just standing, I do love them though. I don't know. Anyway, they were the least comfortable of all of them. But they're so lovely, aren't they? Anyway, uh, there's a bit of a theme here, isn't there? With all the gold and metallic. Oops. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys those. And um, what else? I'm going up to my son, My little grandson is two on Friday. And uh, I'm going up to babysit him on Friday. Oh, that's today, isn't it? Because I filmed this uh, yesterday. Um, and then I've got something very exciting. I've got so much stuff going on. I can't believe it, honestly. I, um, I, I honestly can't believe this journey. Uh, this time last year, I'd done about three videos and I had about 10 people watching and I don't think they were really watching. They were just friends and family were being nice. And, um, and now what well, I've got 30, over 13 and a half thousand subscribers. So that's just honestly remarkable, mind blowing. And I love it. I, I actually, this is the best job I've ever had. And it is a job now really, because I'm having to take it quite seriously and dedicate myself to the time and everything to get things done. Um, but that's not really a hardship if you enjoy it, which I do. And uh, I do feel that we are a really nice community. And I will do another live soon, I think, probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping to get over to see mum in a couple of weeks and do her uh, the kind of other half of her life story. And, um, yeah, loads, loads of really good things in the pipeline. So keep watching and thank you so much because without you watching, none of this, this is all completely pointless, isn't it? Um, so I'll see you really soon. Thank you. Bye.